And it's Simon Brodkin here with another batch of me and my sketches coming to you from my filthy, filthy office. Okay, we've got coming up How I Won Dad of the Year, Premier League footballer Jason Bent's charity appeal. We've got a sneak preview of the show that's set to replace Love Island. And forget Joe Wicks, it's your regular pee time with Jack Bricks. And make sure you stick around to the end because I will be giving you a cheeky bonus throwback sketch for my BBC3 sketch show. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel right now. So it's been five months since the start of lockdown. I've gone from being on tour every single night of the week to being in my house with my wife and kids almost every single minute of the day. Although more recently at their request, I've been spending quite a bit of time in the car by myself. My kids have got to know me a hell of a lot more and they now like me a hell of a lot less. All they really knew about me was that I'd been on TV and got arrested a few times. I was a hero to those kids. And now I'm just a regular around all the time dad and they've discovered that I'm just a bit of a twat. It's time to remember my peak days of fatherhood when in February 2020, I was awarded by me, dad of the year 2020. My name's Simon Brodkin and I've just been voted father of the year 2020. Be a great father, you need to encourage your children whatever they're up to. That's a really good drawing there. What is it? A sunset. That's <laughs> not, not a sunset. It's a mess. With your children is so important. I'm improvising with some indoor tennis. My son, son. You cheated, you had to have cheated. Always cheat at hide and seek. Bedtime is so important with kids, which is why I always make sure I read to my little ones. Can you read me Mr. Tickle? No, I'm gonna read you some of my feedback on Insta. Funny AF, do you know what that means? It's good. You're a legend. What does funny as cancer mean? It's a good thing, it's good. He's still no idea. Little legend. Now, from the start, the lockdown has applied to every single citizen of Great Britain, apart from Dominic Cummings and Premier League footballers. We had Aston Villa's Jack Grealish, one of the first to get rumbled for partying, and then panic spread throughout the Premier League as rumours emerged that players might have to take a pay cut. One man had to do something about that, and that man was England and Premier League legend, Jason Bent. As we all go through this terribly difficult COVID-19-20 season, please spare a thought for Premier League footballers. We've just been asked to take a pay... To take a pay cut? <laughs> so I'm asking you to please give generously to Jason Bent's Panama Bank Account Appeal, especially old people who have got a load of savings and nothing to do for months. Just one of your salaries can help one of us have our car painted gold. We want to raise 6.4 billion quid by Tuesday. Is that us done? Nice. Right, I'm off out on the last for Jack Grealish. Come on, lads. Please give all you can right now. More from Jason Bent next week, so make sure you subscribe to my channel right now to catch that first. So COVID has put a stop to so many things, but maybe the biggest blow of all to the British people has been no Love Island. In a Simon Brodkin show exclusive, here's the show that is set to replace Love Island. We put 25 good-looking twats on a tropical island and watched them fuck each other to death. Welcome to Fuck Island. I fucked Bradley, Danny, Andy, Michelle, uh, Charlie and Niall, all dead now. I can't wait for tonight's death fuck challenge. I'm going in a sex pit with Luca. So hot, I'm definitely going to fuck him to death. Oh my God, I got a text, I got a text. You got fuck three people to death in the next 15 minutes or no food for a week. Oh my God, I'm gonna miss this place, guys. Who wants to fuck? 
It actually took TikTok 22 minutes to pull that from my account. Two people in particular have had a blinder of a pandemic. You have Captain Tom, the 100 year old war hero who walked around his garden to raise 33 million quid for the NHS and self-taught PE instructor, Joe Wicks, who jumped up and down in his living room to raise half a million for the NHS. And by the looks of the new mansion, he's just bought himself 32 and a half million quid for himself. Well, here's his less well-known, but more physically capable counterpart. It's the legend Jack Bricks. Jack, you can do it. Hey, right there. I'm Jack Bricks. Oh my gosh, yes, I've done this thing, like PE for everyone and stuff. And then it just went nuts, which is mental, because so I'm just Jack Bricks. Please like me, subscribe me, all that sort of stuff. So it's just gone crazy. I can't believe how many books I'm going to sell. I mean, how many kids are like going to get fit in that? This is just mad, this is my ass, how mad is that? This is just me, so today we're gonna do arms, then these things, I think, and legs, which is the sticky bits underneath the shorts, and just up and down, up and down. If you feel thirsty, have a drink. Oh my God, I'm Jack Bricks, so this just gone mad, I ain't even watching this, cause like, this is just my ass, that's mental. Subscribe, like, please, that's all we got time for. Do not forget to buy his book. Now, a fair few of you have been reaching out to me on my Insta and on my Twitter and asking where they can get hold of the stuff from my BBC Three sketch show, Well Funny People. The answer is right here. I'm gonna be feeding them out on the Simon Brogan show every single week. And it's time to throw back to the man who makes cooking so much more straightforward. Who needs veg when you've got biscuits? South Shield's answer to Jamie Oliver is Geordie Chef in his Geordie Kitchen. Today I've got the in-laws coming round and I really want to cook them something special. So I'm gonna be serving up duck a l'orange made easy. Chicken with biscuits. Chickens are a lot cheaper if you buy them still feathered. Use an ordinary gents razor to shave the chicken. I'm using a Gillette Mac 3 with Boots own brand foam. Or if time's not an issue, use Veet, formerly known as Imac. Now, over here is one I shaved last night with my cousin. I leave my chicken really succulent, so I'm gonna massage in about five kilos of butter. Now, you didn't need to focus on expensive cooking equipment, and instead of using a roasting tray, I'm using a hubcap. Now, it's hard to see exactly what temperature you need to cook the chicken, because the oven markings have all rubbed off. But I recommend pointing the knob to the bottom of the washing machine window. Or if you're cooking a particularly big chicken, I'd point the knob to the middle of the window. Cooking times may vary depending on the size and position of your washing machine. Now let's start preparing the biscuits. The biscuits that go by far the best with chicken are chocolate fingers. I really like chocolate fingers, so I'm gonna use 15 boxes. Once the chicken's done, pour off that excess butter. That'll condense nicely into some delicious chicken butter. There we go. I want the meal to have a real wow factor, so I'm propping up about 50 chocolate fingers either side of the chicken to make this a chocolate finger tent. And the remaining 750 chocolate fingers, I'm just gonna put in a bowl to serve cold with the meal. And there we go. I hope the in-laws are gonna be chuffed. That's duck a l'orange with a difference. Chicken in a chocolate finger tent with cold chocolate fingers. Right, that's it for now. I'm off to make a biscuit tent. Please do subscribe, leave your comments, especially if you're interested in auditioning for the very first series of Island. No dick pics, please. Until next week, cheers.